good day everyone and welcome back to another round of community driven creations and artworks based on various hybrid concepts. Last week we did the maned wolf and dragon hybrid and this week our prompt was of a rooster and a reindeer. And can I just say the sheer volume of quantity and quality that's gone in this week you guys have absolutely blown me away. There is so much to show you and I've been really really excited and I could not wait. So really thank you all so so much. I really hope that you're enjoying this and it just gets to take our minds off you know everything going on right now and just able to relax and have a bit of fun so so like i said we've got a lot to show for this week so i might not be able to take my time on every piece of artwork like the last time i'm gonna try my best but to start off with we'll have a look at my one here and i will admit i too did struggle with this prompt <laughs> when i first had the randomly generated prompt of a reindeer and a chicken it sounded really funny i had a couple of ideas in mind at the time when it came to actually cr creating my version I kind of realized very quickly that I've never made a chicken in sport before and I was very, very stuck. <laughs> so I had a hard time with this one. I know some of you guys did as well and I completely understand. Some people did some really amazing, majestic concepts. Like it honestly blew me away. But um, yeah, some of us struggled, completely understand. So I'm not particularly proud of my one this time around. But don't you worry, for the next prompt incoming, I have something epic planned for mine. So hopefully I'll make up with it next week. If anything, I like the face on mine. It looks really, really goofy, but I kind of like the face and uh, yeah, that's about it really. Now then, for the ones by the community, for our very first one is by Alice Bill. <laughs> I wonder how many of you guys could see that name coming. Good old Alice Bill. He is our local pun lord, our local dad. He's, he's a great funny person and of course he'd do this. It's basically inspired by a rubber chicken. And the, the face gets me, the bottle of what I can only assume vodka gets me. It's, I, I, just, I just love this. It's such an unexpected interpretation. But it fits, man. It fits. <laughs> I'm sure he had fun doing this and we all had a good, good laugh. Our next one here is by Axton, which really has a bit of a hippogriff slash griffin hybrid and is one of the more majestic ones I've seen so far, looking really, really good. It's got a very nice sleek design. In fact, the tail being a little bit on the smaller end really kind of reminds me of some kind of very large steed, like a very majestic, well-grown horse. And it just gives me like a really great sense of grace. And I think the overall proportions really complement it on that. I think it's very well done. Next up is the one and only Atix, which I'm sure we've all recognised in the comment section. <laughs> As always, man, thank you very much. Always helping us out with the YouTube algorithm and going above and beyond for it. So this is our interpretation, which is a much more on the chicken end of the hybrid. I gotta say, the glowing eyes are a really neat touch. It gives it like such a mystical kind of spectral appearance. It looks really, really interesting. I like the tail work. I really like the combination of the feathered wings and the more reindeer-like mane. I think the way everything is kind of incorporated together kind of blends very well. And it just being like a little bit on the smaller end, it kind of reminds me of a Moonkin from World of Warcraft, but something a lot more feral and a lot smaller. In fact, this is the kind of thing I'd love to see as an NPC in a game. Like a big scary owl with peacock feathers and big scary antlers and glowing eyes. I think that'd be something really cool to encounter in a game. Next up we have Caliber Light. Another hippogriffy, griffiny kind of style here. In fact, I think Caliber actually said this one was meant to be a bit more of a griffin type of style. Again, really nice. I think they nailed the style entirely. Just like Axton's one, it's got like a bit of a longer physique overall. The neck is much longer than this one, but it still kind of gives like a bit of a grandiose kind of vibe to it. The long neck really reminds me of certain elk. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the large deer from Bambi, and that thing was extremely majestic. In fact, what's kind of interesting here is that comparing this one to the Axton's one, I'm comparing these two because they've both gone with a more hippogriffy kind of style, it's interesting seeing how one has had the chicken claws on the front, one on the back, and how the hooves have again, you know, gone back and forth and how they've kind of inverted their two interpretations. I think it's very interesting to note. And I do just want to say those wings are very, very well done. Fantastic work. Next up, we have a sport creation by a cat. A very, very fluffy looking one. Kind of reminds me of a phoenix in a way. In fact, a phoenix with some kind of pendant around the chest. Big majestic mane around the head or head crest. And the antlers, this one's got like a very large, kind of a mystical, grandiose kind of theme here. It's so large and bursting with feathers, it really reminds me of a phoenix. And I think it's a very nice, interesting approach. I also really like the colour scheme, it really does nail down that whole divine feeling. 
And the overall length and build of the legs, while quite subtle there, is also a very, very nice touch and very fitting. Now this one here is by Clove the Sage, which I really quite like. It's got much more of a sort of owl type of theme. I think that might be because the legs are a bit on the thicker end, obviously being inspired by the reindeer part. But in conjunction with the rest of the body, it kind of reminds me of owl feet. This one makes me feel like it's going to be some kind of arctic creature, just a lot thicker and fluffier which is a very interesting take compared to a lot of the other ones we've seen so far. The face, I think, is very well done. A lot of details gone into the face. And I really love the cute little antlers and the ears. <laughs> Those little small ears. I also would like to point out as well that while the hooves are, of course, on the reindeer side, you can see like a single large talon coming out of the back of the hooves, which is a very interesting touch. A proper hybridized style between the two different subjects. Another wonderful piece. Next up is another small creation by Darth Leo X. So this is an adorable one, some very bold colorations, which are very nice to see. And it kind of reminds me of a, just like a small old chickling who is <laughs> very angry, very feisty, and really, you know, willing to fight back and defend itself. I can imagine it's kind of thinking of some shenanigans, you know, kind of running around away from its nest. I think it could be due to the face. The eyes look ever so slightly angry, but more in a mischievous kind of way. And the little small beak really sounds like a chick to me. I really do love the coloration though. The colors are so bold and strong that it really kind of makes it pop out more. I also really like the design of the antlers. We've got the two different antlers kind of intertwined there to give like a bigger or larger feeling. The tails are very interesting, Dutch. <laughs> so far, we've seen a lot of horse-like tails or a lot of, you know, very large and plume-heavy kind of like chicken or in one case, peacock tails. This one's got a little stub, which technically, yeah, Randy does have a little stub, doesn't it? And it's very interesting to see the contrast. I like it. I also like the cute little wings. I like how this one just overall has like a very petite form. Next up is Dillo Vortex. Now this one's got like another much angry kind of vibe to it. So far, a lot of the ones we've seen so far have either looked very cute, very grandiose, or very elegant. This one here comes across as very feral, and it's a very interesting turn of interpretation. What's also neat to point out here is the fact that they clearly gone with like a bit of a quadruped kind of pose here, at least I think it's a quadruped, judging by it really looks like it's rearing upwards to me. So while being a quadruped, and that obviously being from the reindeer prompt, both the hands and feet are chicken claws. So that's another unique interpretation of, you know, obviously combining the two different subjects together. I also really like the face, like again a lot of details have been done to the face there and the coloration just like last time with their main wolf and dragon, the coloration is again just really really well done. Lots of different shades and I think it looks very good. Next up we have one by DJ Fabrizi and my goodness DJ you always blow me away dude when it comes to your color schemes. The shading, the lighting, it's not just the fact that, you know, there's a lot of lighting and detail going on with the texture of the, you know, the red on the rooster, the fur, but also you can actually see the fur reflect the light from the Christmas lights, and I think this is absolutely stunning. Like, honestly, DJ, really, really well done. You blow me away every time you come out with something new. The eye in particular is absolutely fantastic. It's obviously got, like, a very nice, clean reflection on it, which really kind of sells a bit of realism, but there's also the texture around the eye. You can just tell there's so much work and details been applied to this, and it looks absolutely fantastic. It really pops out. I also really like how they managed to intertwine, you know, obviously all the chicken features into something that does resemble much more reindeer, because it obviously, you know, has chicken features, but... When I look at it at the first glance, it just feels far more larger and reindeerish to me, and I, I can't quite figure out how they've actually managed to accomplish that, but it really sells, you know, the hybrid composition extremely well. Honestly, just very, very well done. Next up is one by Dragon33657. And this is another more on the cuter side. I really, really like this one. I don't think we've seen very many actually that have a more reindeer face. So this might be a first so far. I believe every other one so far has had like a much more chickeny face, but this one's got like very, very reindeer heavy, which makes for a very nice dark contrast when you compare it to a very chicken-like body. I really like the mane. I think the mane really, really sells it. And also the very subtle bits of, you know, kind of more wispy fur around the feet as well. A subtle, easy to miss, but it really adds a lot to it. And of course, the obligatory chicken features around the reindeer's face. Again, just a very nice balance, very well placed, and I just think this is a very awesome looking, very clean artwork, and very well done. And following that, we have the good old Dracky Lady. It's always such a pleasure to see Dracky get involved, and I really, really liked this one. Again, one of the more, just, in fact, I think this is one of the more graceful ones, where it's not heavily based on the reindeer. What you'll find so far, later on, is that a lot of the more kind of majestic, 
graceful looking ones are very reindeer based. I think Jackie is maybe the only exceptionally stylized one that is more in the chicken side and she's done a really really good job of that. I really want to pay close attention to the feet here. The feet I think are a really clever mixture. They've got like obviously the, the very big wide kind of uh, growth that a reindeer would normally have like a very large fluffy or maybe like more like a moose I'm not sure something very large and arctic and fluffy and then it perfectly goes into big avian claws instead also the face I really really like the face on that again it's not quite too chicken it's not quite too reindeer you really can tell something in between and of course not to mention the fur the coloration the style the texture the two little expressions on the right hand side there just to give it like a bit more of a dynamic it just looks absolutely fantastic and I just noticed this is big. <laughs> it's a really, really tall creature compared to the human figure there at six foot. Now that is a mount I would not mind to have in a game. That would look really, really cool. And I can only imagine what the wings would look like when fully outstretched. That looks really, really nice. This next one is by Dread Drago. Another one of the more majestic looking interpretations so far. I really love the colour palette on this one in particular. I love how the whole neck area, the entire mane, just has like a very bright kind of sunset theme and how it transitions into a darker tones as you go along the rest of the body. The legs are a really, really interesting kind of combination between the two different subjects, especially the forelegs themselves. And saying that, the wings also, I really like how they've gone with the more raptorish kind of wing style, since at the end of the day, you know, raptors and chickens are of course related in some form, so it really makes sense to have like this kind of hybridized theme here. The face looks incredibly graceful, and again, I just love the detail and the hues, and the entirety of the tail. What I really like about the tail is that so far we've been seeing a lot of singular colour schemes. This one's kind of taken on, you know, different themes, especially the white patch near the base of the tail. I believe Jack has done a very, very good job with this one in all forms of execution. Really lovely work. Following up next is one by Dino Chris. So this one's also taking on a far more kind of griffin-y type of vibe here. The coloration is a much more unique one, which I do really quite like. The green in particular is a very interesting touch, but actually not too far off considering how a lot of roosters out there do have very large green vibrant plumes. Once again, I really like the mane, and I do think that the head is very, very well done. I really like those piercing eyes. Quite often, whenever you think about a either a chicken or a reindeer for that matter, their eyes are normally... Uh, a little bit derpy looking, they're herbivores, so they've got to look out, of course, have that very large aerial vision. With the Dino's one here, the eyes are very piercing and it does make for very nice contrast. I do think that the head overall, like all the red kind of chicken features are very well done. Having tried that style myself, it was actually a little bit uh, jarring to do, I found. So it's Dino, very, very well done. And I've also included another colour variant of their design here as well, which is a far more tanned looking one. Kind of reminds me of like more of a desert themed when, in, when compared to the original one with all the green. And once again, it makes a very cool contrast. Next up is an elk chicken by Espy. Another subject more on the chicken side, but with a very gorgeous palette of coloration there. I really, really like the variety of colors. They just feel very bold and kind of pop out at you, especially like the addition of purple and red. And the face is another one of those ones where you can really see it's kind of like in between the two different themes. And the posture overall really kind of gives me like a bit more of a raptor vibe. I know obviously it's more inspired by the whole chicken rooster kind of side of it, but just like the overall size, you know, obviously being part reindeer, it really gives like a bit of a raptor, maybe even like a bit more of a parasol kind of vibe, which is really interesting. But again, I just really love that color scheme. I think the color scheme is so unique and really makes it pop out. Very nicely done. So we have two different submissions here by Frost Dragon 365 First of all is this <laughs> wonderful looking one. Again, the colour scheme, I really like how bold the colour scheme is. Again, it just makes it stand out and feel its own. Always a fan of mohawks, man. I don't know what it is, I don't know why, but creatures of mohawks really just sell everything to me. <laughs> and I love the one on this. So you can tell Frost here is also going for the whole griffin design here, with the hooves on the back and the claws on the front. Much more of a quadruped kind of feel as well, due to, you know, again, the reindeer part. And I am a big fan of the textures. Now Frost's second one is... <laughs> I, I think they may have taken some inspiration from Alice Bill. I'm not sure in terms of the timing of when these are all posted. This is their more jokey submission. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> It's interesting. It's very, very interesting. I think it's meant to be more of a rubber chicken kind of thing. It definitely looks like it. The way the antlers kind of point forwards is kind of scary. It feels like it's coming at you. Like imagine this as a leviathan in Subnautica. That'd be terrifying. <laughs> very nicely done, Frost. 
so up next, we have a unfinished work in progress sketch by Glass of the Absol. Now, this is unfinished because quite a few people, of course, you know, didn't have time to finish it or kind of lost a bit of inspiration, which is entirely fine. But I think that Glass here did such a fantastic job that it would have been a bit of a loss to not show it at all. I really like what she was going for here, even as early of a sketch as it is. I think the tail is absolutely stunning. Glass does a very, very good job of fur anyway, and you can really tell by the tail and the mane. You can also see, I'm not sure if that's a case of perspective or not, but it feels like that the wings are actually connected to the reindeer legs at the front. I'm not sure if they're like intentionally connected or if it's just a case of posing and perspective, but it does look very, very interesting. And that's a very thought compelling idea to wonder how would those two features really, you know, intertwine and connect. I just love the tail. I really, really like the tail. I think it just sells off such a majestic vibe so, so well. And while of course I understand that Glass, you know, didn't really want to finish it, which is completely entirely fine, I would have loved to have seen the colorations that she would have chosen for this. Next up we have good old Hazilla, who's come here with two different variants of the same kind of concept from what I can tell. So both of these have a, I, I, I gotta admit, they've got like a very Rodan kind of feel here. That's not a bad thing at all, I really really like it. Hazilla here has gone for like a, a very very large kind of feral scary looking thing. I look at the second image and it kind of feels like it'd be a behemoth, very very large and scary. And it just looks opposing, I really really love this interpretation and I think the second sketch in particular is very very well done. I love the wings. I think so far a lot of the wings that we have seen have been, you know, very, very chickeny kind of wings, which again is completely valid and works within the constraints of the hybrid concept. Hazilla, however, went with a far more dance or kind of like wing design, and you know what? Again, it works. It works very, very well. And in that, I think it's also, you know, nailed the style itself very well. I love the face. The face is again just very detailed, a very nice combination of two different creatures, a very angry looking. I also really like the back feet, again, you know, very large reindeer kind of legs, which trail down into chicken feet. Such a wonderful sketch that I find has me looking for more details more and more. Next up is a very cute sketch by Jenna Possier in the YouTube comment section. I really like the addition of the Christmas bells around the neck there. I don't know why, that was the first thing I kind of really noticed there. Like I said before, it's really interesting seeing everyone's different interpretations when it comes to these problems and how the concepts kind of come out to them. Jenna's one here has got like a very, very cute vibe to it. I really like the tail on the wings. The wings are just very nice coloration and just the way they're designed. But the tail as well is actually like a bit of a hybrid between, you know, the reindeer and the chicken tail. I like how they They've added the, you know, the large rooster tail feathers, but are kind of overlapping and surrounding a little reindeer tail, and it looks really, really sweet. I love the big grand antlers, very nicely done. The big eyes. I also really like the way that the white is done around the neck, the tail, and the belly. Just the overall execution of that design is very, very nicely done and gives like a very nice kind of patchy, fluffy, and mottled feeling. Overall, Jenna, very nicely done and a very lovely color scheme as well. And next up is one by KJ. This one to me looks like an extraordinarily fluffy reindeer with a obviously like a bit of a hybridized kind of beak going on there but overall just really makes me think of a very large fluffy feathery reindeer. And it's a very thought-provoking concept actually. Like imagine if a reindeer was just fully covered in feathers, like how would that actually look? Now as someone who has tried covering their creations entirely in feathers in the past, I can appreciate how it's actually quite a hassle trying to get everything to kind of flow together and, and obviously not being limited by the complexity meters. So for that KJ, I commend you mate, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Making a fully feathered or fully covered creatures is actually quite a task and so made very very well done. Next up we have one by Lunar Eclipse and what is this? I refuse to accept the existence of the Arctic deer chicken. Pardon? What? <laughs> Okay, that's a bit of an interesting note there. Again, loving the whole dossier feel. I just think it looks really cool. And I also really like the posture on this one. Now, the posture so far in a lot of them have always been either kind of combat stance or rather, you know, not generic per se, but like kind of like a T-posing kind of stance. So far, a lot of them have felt very neutral. This one, you can tell it's grazing and it just gives it like a bit more life to it. Again, I also really love the color scheme. I like all the different patterns, like the little rings around the forearms there, how the lighter mane kind of tr transverses into a darker red coat, which then around the tail feathers begins to go into a brown and then bleaches into white. I think that just like, looks like a very nice kind of transition. Very interesting layouts of colors there. And the antlers are very well done. The antlers look awesome. I really, really like that a lot. I just really like the pose. It's the pose that really sells it to me. It just feels so much more original. And it makes me wonder, like, how would this animate? How would it walk around? Like, how would it behave? It's just like a very thought-provoking one, and I really like it. Following Luna, we have a good old Maver with two, I guess actually technically three submissions here. Now, for our very first submission by Maver, 
I believe this is meant to be like a male and a female, which I gotta say it's a very interesting take and I really like the sexual dimorphism between the two. The male one looks very intimidating, like a very scary face going on, whereas the female one really reminds me of a hen, just a nice simple old hen and it's a really cool contrast, like it gives you a lot to look at, a lot to compare between the two and how they both also hold their own very well. I think the fact that the female one looks, you know, significantly more hen-like with a very large bushy tail. I can only assume it'd be used to, you know, help in the insulation of the eggs. That alone looks really cool. And then the male one just looks like, you know, like very large intimidating. It's got like a much more of a reindeer kind of posture. I can imagine it being, you know, just overall much larger, much more foreboding. It's a really cool take and one that did not occur to me was sexual dimorphism. So this was really, really cool to see. For Maver's second submission was <laughs> this one, which based on the original submission he sent in, was much more inspired by Looney Tunes, I believe. Which <laughs> I gotta say I really liked. So whereas the previous one that had a much more kind of wild theme to it, this one feels like much more domesticated and therefore quite a bit cuter. Again, I really like the face. I think it's done a very, very good job with the face, like a very nice combination of the two features. I also really like the proportion of the legs. I think the proportion like kind of really works in favor of this. And of course, a big old bushy tail and the mane that goes down. Like I mentioned in Maver's submission of the maned wolf dragon hybrids, I really admire creators who can do like very large, bold, defined colors around the face because I normally have a bit of an issue with the textures of bleeding. And I think once again, you know, Maver's hit the nail on the head here and it's done a very very good job of making the face on their one look very defined, very clean, and very well done. And next up, we got a sketch by Mihail, and I really, really like the face on this one as well. Again, gives like another combined theme here of like a much more reindeer kind of skull, which traverses it into a beak at the tip there. I really like what's going on with the neck. I can't quite interpret, you know, the back of the neck there. I feel like it might be a mane for the reindeer, but just overall the technique that Miha has used for it is much more unique and it really is quite interesting. I also really like the design of the tail as well, just very large and bushy, very wispy, and the wings too. And I very much like the proportions as well, you can see like it's very much more heavyset reindeer built, but it still maintains like a bit of elegance and a bit of, you know, majesty. Next up we have a watercolour submission by Nette. This one is crazy, so they really really went with a hybrid theme here like they were trying to combine everything that they could and it's fascinating it really is fascinating the face and tail in particular the tail is just this awesome plethora of feathers from what i can tell i kind of want to say the faces are almost creepy in a way i just think it's very very unique it's extremely creative so what nette is trying to accomplish here is that they basically try to use the whole, you know, the red area that the chickens have on their faces. They try to use that, you know, as the antlers and such. And basically just try to make that like the more dominant feature. It is really interesting and I find myself just staring and, you know, just observing it. And the fact that this was done in watercolours as well just gives it a gorgeous palette of various colours and shades, which I think is really lovely. It gives it an awesome texture. And the overall subject is just fascinatingly unique. <laughs> <laughs> and I really admire it. Next up, we have a unfinished work in progress by Or Loki. So just like last, Loki kind of lost her wing to finish this one as well, which is entirely understandable. Obviously, we're all very busy as well at the moment. But this is another one that I felt I kind of really miss out on. I really wanted to add it in because, again, even as early as a work in progress sketch as it is, it just looks really graceful. I love the posture. I love the stance. I love the way the hind legs are kind of, you know, leaning backwards there. It really gives like a bit of a majestic steed kind of appearance to me. The tail feathers are just stunning, so large, so bushy. I can only imagine the coloration on them. I love the big grand antlers and I love the overall proportions of the head and the neck slash chest as well. Another one that, while I'm a little bit ashamed to not see it finished, I do understand why, but even as an early sketch, it just looks so, so good. Next up we have Polar Mo, who's got like a really cool stylized appearance here. I really like the antlers. The antlers are very wispy. I can imagine it being quite fragile, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It just looks like a very cool and unique design. I also love how strong the colorations are between the blue wings and blue tail feathers, the bright bronze coats, and of course the red face. The coloration on this one is just so bright and vivid. It just really complements each other well. I also think that the reindeer body itself is, you know, very well done too. Very nice shading. Very nice shading, the tail feathers actually. The more I look at the tail feathers, the more I can appreciate the different shades of color. This one has a very stylized appearance to it. It's one that kind of leaves me, you know, searching for more detail. I kind of get lost looking at this one and I, I just really 
really, really like it. Again, I think it's fantastically done and I'm a big, big fan of the colors. Next up, we have Poophead27, who's gone with a far more alkyne kind of appearance here. Very, very heavy on the deer side in terms of the head and the legs and the body. Well, actually, that's the point. It's a clearly a deer-like body, but in a posture of a chicken, which works out really nicely. I think the antlers and the tail feathers do a very good job of balancing out that posture as well. The feathers, I believe, are very well done, both on the tail and the wings there. The face is, again, another deer-heavy one that transverses it into like a very small little chickeny beak, <laughs> which I think is a very cool style going on there. And also, let's not forget the little tiny hill claws right next to the reindeer hooves, which, again, is just like a very nice little bonus touch there. It's very subtle, but it adds a lot. Next up is another sport creation by Sagasol. Another very boldly coloured one, and this one. <laughs> this one here, I think, looks just really adorable, to be honest. I think it might be a combination of the eyes and the face, and the overall posture and the way that the forearms are kind of leaning upwards like a raptor. It has, like, a bit of a dainty feel to it, and <laughs> I think it just looks really, really cute. I really like it. I really like the transition of colours going on around the feet, how you can see with the shoulders, they've got, like, a bit of a reddish hue for the rest of the colouration. But I kind of bleed into yellow, which around the tip of the chicken feet kind of go like a very bright, bold yellow. Again, just a really cool transition. I really like all the white as well, the white underbelly, the white tail, just generally where it's positioned and the proportions of it. I oh, had the face. I, I just love the face. Especially from the front angle, it just looks beautiful. Next up, we have a rough sketch by The Chronicles Witch. And for a rough sketch, I thought this was fantastic. Like, this is really, really wonderfully done. Quite interesting use as well of, you know, including a bunch of the various reference images to display, like, how the feet work, or, sorry, the forearms. That I thought was very cool. Uh, speaking of feet, actually, I really like the shading of the back feet. It's very, very subtle. And actually, then I look at the back feet some more. You can see how the hooves are kind of... The hooves are, like, three, you know, chicken claws, but they are individually hooved, which is a really neat little style there. The shading really brings it out. It's very subtle, but also quite strong in a way. So this one's like another one of the more elegant kind of looking one, where it's got a big, nice reindeer body, nice majestic mane and feathers, which then tips out into like a very kind of petite, graceful looking chicken head. I also like the coloration on this one. The coloration is like very warm, very calm. And I find this one just overall very satisfying to look at. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but there is something about their shading technique. It's just very, very satisfying to look at. And I find myself just looking in various areas, like the rib cage, the back of the neck, the haunches, just, you know, admiring the shading itself. Wonderful work. And next up, we have this really beautiful piece by the Hikiri. Now this one, I remember Hikiri saying that they were going through like a lot of different experiments on this one. And I think it looks really, really stunning. I think they did a very good job of blending you know the creature into the environment it does have like a very arctic feel as well i feel it was a very fitting i love the wings the wings just look so so cool like the way they're puffed out the antlers as well i love that the antlers are a warm color i think it's a very very nice contrast the very very large tail feathers kind of draping behind it almost like a cloak in a way and the overall perspective, the way that this one is much more front heavy like kind of looking at the camera it almost feels like it feels like a painting of a photograph. Like, this kind of makes it feel like that this was like a rare sighting spotted, you know, a long, long time ago. And it feels as though, you know, someone like took like a quick picture as they could, but like a very low quality one. So someone like re-realized it in paint. I don't know. Like, this one just has me kind of imagining a lot. Just because of the overall style, the composition, the angle, the way the creatures look straight at you. I think this one's wonderful and very, very thought provoking. Really, really gorgeous work, and also got to commend you on the shading and the techniques here. Very lovely work. Next up is Toxic Vomit with some absolutely stunning lighting. I love the flecks of light all around this one, even on the tail feathers. The tail feathers are absolutely stunning, both in the coloration, the lighting, the shading, and the overall form. And the, again, like the way they're very bushy, kind of draped downwards. I found myself really liking that style in particular. I also actually that face, that head. Are those little wings <laughs> around the ears? Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. And also looking at the chicken feet there. They've got like these two little petite claws around the back there. I think that actually is a thing with some um, alkyne creatures where I do have like little, these little mini proto-hoof kind of things going on in the back of their feet. I, I, I'm really not sure about the terminology here. I think that is a thing that a lot of uh, hoofed animals have though. So to see that on the chicken side of it is actually really, really cool and very subtle. I love this one. I just really like the lighting and the face. It's just so cool that the face is very, very unique. And of course, the overall posture, again, going for that far more elekine kind of feel there. I find the elekine ones are the ones that are just overall extremely majestic. And again, man, I think this was very, very well done. Like, good job, Toxic. 
The lighting in particular is beautiful. Next up we have Morgan Snack, who's added some beautiful blue tail feathers to their one, and the antlers. Now, I can say from experience that doing custom made antlers is very, very tricky, which is why I'm now lately kind of elected towards using just, you know, the different uh, spikes instead. So, Morgan, for the fact that you did like custom antlers, may I commend you. It is a struggle. I know what it's like and made very, very well done in the execution. Again, I like the coloration on this one. It's very clean, very neat, kind of really shows off, you know, where everything is. I also like the beak as well, very sharp and well defined. So I'd say this one's more of the petite end. It gives me a much more of a raptor vibe to it. And I actually think it's more of the cute end as well. Like very nice little cute subject here. I think it's wonderful. Next up we have Zeppelin King. This one is kind of eerie. I'm not sure if like that's meant to be like frost or ice or like some kind of saliva. I'm really not sure about, you know, the dripping, but I do like the glowing. So the glowing's very cool. So it's got like a much more of like an Eve kind of vibe to it. It really reminds me of a Wendigo. The feathers, I want to note, the feathers are extraordinarily well done. Drawing every single, you know, feather tip individually can be very intimidating to a lot of people. So I really commend Zeppelin for putting that time and effort in. I also really like the fluffy texture around the chest, the belly, and the hind feet there. And Jez, it's really interesting just seeing a bit more of a horror vibe to this. In fact, now that I think about it, if you actually did see like some kind of chicken reindeer, you know, IRL, that would actually be terrifying. So this is kind of fitting, to be honest. I could imagine such a thing being, you know, either very graceful, very silly, or very scary. Like imagine that's a predator, that'd be terrifying. Again, another thought-provoking one, very well done Zeppelin. And for our final submission, we have Zick Dragon. <laughs> I, I love their style. I think Zick Dragon has been doing like very much of a, like a Disney slash Warner Brothers kind of style here. This one reminds me of Luna Tunes a lot. And I, I love the faces. I love the faces. It really sells that vibe so well. Also the tails. So, so far we've seen like a lot of uh, very bright and colored tails, but not very many multicolored tails. And that is very, very cool to see actually. I also really love the, the angle of which this one's been done in. So far we've had like a lot of side angles. We've had one or two front angles, but this was more of a diagonal one. And it kind of like adds a lot more dimension to it. I also think it's kind of funny how the entire front half is pure chicken. It really gives me a central vibe, which is really cool. But mate, I just love the face. I think the face is absolutely fantastic. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, that is our prompt done and out of the way. I tried to be quick. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too long but like i said so many fantastic pieces it is amazing seeing all the different interpretations all the different variety all different styles and genres it is incredible and to everyone thank you all so so much for taking part and i really really hope that you enjoyed it honestly guys well done now then for our next prompt this is one i've been very very excited for and I really look forward to seeing how people interpret this one. Now this prompt was imagined by Dino Chris, so Dino, thank you very much. And this one is a orca whale, Komodo dragon. Let your mind wander with that one. How many legs is it going to have? Is it going to have legs at all? What's the face going to look like? The tail? There's a lot to be interpreted with this one here and I really, really look forward to seeing it. So as always everyone, thank you all so much. If you want to submit any artwork to me, just basically do it anywhere that you can find me. So Discord is the easiest, YouTube comment section as well, Twitter, DeviantArt, email. It's very easy to contact me, so just submit it in a place that I will see it. Like I said, Discord is the easiest one. And as always, everyone, I really look forward to seeing it. Thank you all so much for watching, for listening. I really hope you all enjoyed the artworks. And as always, have a wonderful day. And I will catch you all next time. Cheers.